Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Lousy weather today, therefore it's going to be an inside video. Anyway, the new James Bond movie is now in the theaters. Everybody loves it. And uh, therefore I thought um, about what kind of slingshot would James Bond want. Well, I looked at what is available and I came up across these very inexpensive bolts for pistol crossbows. So I thought that would be a neat little basis for a spy slingshot pistol. So I made this. This of course is a lot smaller than the pistol crossbow these bolts are normally made for. So this is the monster that's normally used for shooting these bolts. And you will probably agree that this is much more like James Bond style. Now of course these bolts are pretty harmless. Nothing for a spy with a license to kill. Therefore, it's all in adapting these bolts to make them effective. First thing I did is I put in a nail instead of the pretty blunt tip that's normally a part of it. Okay, let me cock the weapon first. That's pretty simple. Okay, as you see, clear rubber and gold. Now I can insert the arrow. Okay, the next adaption is a fire cap. Therefore, I drilled out the tip, drilled all the way through, and made it fitting for these little fire caps that are originally meant for my Gallagher percussion rifle. Well, I think this would be very, very good for a distraction. So, because the weapon is silent and the bang is quite loud. Uh, but of course, these arrows are hollow. But I leave it to your imagination what you could put inside. It uh, would be illegal to discuss these things in Germany. Okay, so this cheap injection syringe is able to uh, inject poison into the body of an attacker. And um, actually in every household there is poison that really only has to fill the needle to be effective and kill someone. So how can we shoot this? So I came up with uh, this little bolt here. And what it really is, it's the same syringe but it's attached to a homemade bolt. And actually just a little pressure on this here squirts out the cherry juice that I used to fill it. So this is how it looks like. Quite deadly, don't you think? So the bolt is made from little shashlik um, skewers. Very, very easy. Four of them just grip the uh, plunger of the syringe and uh, the inertia actually pushes out the liquid. Now, of course, if you simply want to shoot arrows with more force than these rubber bands would allow, you can easily increase the amount of rubber. It's a very solid construction. But then at some point you won't be able to cock it with your fingers anymore. Therefore, I made this little loading prod. And you just put it in and squeeze until the sear engages. And then the thing is loaded and you can do this with very, very, very heavy rubber. I also made a magnum version of the weapon. It's this one. As you see, it's significantly longer, but still not very big. But it's employed with really, really strong rubber. This rubber is so strong that there is just no way you could ever cock this with your fingers. You definitely need this loading frame for it. So you push this in, and then it's guided with uh, two fitting holes in the uh, fork. Okay, this is over 125 pounds of draw weight. It's very hard to uh, do this with your hand. So what I do is I press it against the wall, like this. Then you remove the rod and the whole thing is cocked. So these are overdue pineapples, 2009 it says, and therefore we're going to shoot against it. And this is my homemade penetration bolt. As you see, it's a sharpened 6mm steel rod with a hardened tip. See, it's bleeding. Let's see if the normal bolt penetrates as well. both sides. So 
So, of course, there's a pretty major difference in size between these two weapons. But if you really look at the effective stretch of the rubber, you can see that the small one has pretty much the same uh, draw length as the big one. So I think these are pretty effective weapons. And um, this one is actually not very hard to make because uh, it only has a single moving part. And uh, you can find a PDF with instructions on the web. And you can find the link uh, in the text description of this video. So here's something for the German zombie friends amongst you. It's a uh, zombie magazine um, made by two students. I think they did this during their studies. And it was very good. It was very interesting. They, they cover lots of different things. And also they cover me. Um, I like the graphics that they've done here. So they also cover my zombie hammer, of course. And there is an interview with me. And I think the guys did a really, really good job on it. So I think the guys are sold out. But they may print another batch and therefore you can find the link to their website in the text description of this video. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and bye bye.